kids just catch the sun crimes The girls have blowing the wind Oh, when the hot sun is lit And there's not much to do So let's just talk for a bit And this is what I'll say to you I say a scoot, scoot down, baby, come close and near Don't talk about this us, cause there's one that's right here You're my island woman, the one I want to keep I'm your Hawaiian soldier, yes, my roots run deep Oh, yes, my roots run deep, yeah Oh, na, 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 na Just put your hands in mine I'm looking in your eyes While you're looking so fine I wanna taste your lips Just like the fine wine But there's no need to rush Cause we got nothing but time No So let's just converse And maybe after this I'll take you out on a date I'll sit you on down Girl, you can order anything But don't sit too far Cause this is what I will say I scoot, scoot down Baby, come cross and here Don't talk about this us Cause there's one that's right here You're my island woman The one I want to keep I'm your Hawaiian soldier Yes, my roots run deep I say, scoot, scoot down Baby, come cross and here Don't talk about this us Cause there's one that's right here You're my island woman The one I want to keep I'm your Hawaiian soldier Yes, my roots Oh, it's my root one deep, yeah Oh, na 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 Oh, na 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 Say, this is my island, man My love will always be true So let me scoot on over so I can be right next to you Island woman are just so sweet Like eating a nice cool mango And I need the scorching heat So if you put your hands in Man, there's a star that's so high That will make your eyes shine like I'm not yet done, just trying to speak my mind Just trust me baby girl, someone like you is hard to find you like Taking giant sips from this red red wine Cause if you take too many sips, you'll make it hard to walk the line I'll scoot, scoot down baby, come close and near Don't talk about this us, cause this one that's right here You're my island woman, the one I want to keep I'm your Hawaiian soldier, yes my roots run Oh yes, my roots run deep, yeah Oh na 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 yeah Oh na 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 Hey, aloha everybody, 
in my two gas tank time. You know, I was waiting until Stanley was blowing his nose so that um, we could, all morning long, uh, we could have gone on earlier, but I wanted to wait. And, um, I knew I would get Stanley at a, at a very um, impor important time. Uh, and here we go, now, nah, brother Stan. Good morning, John. Stan. Good afternoon, actually, bro. What's up? Uh, how's it? How's it? How's it? <laughs> uh, uh, hey, welcome to the crew uh, of uh, the uh, Baboos uh, crew right now. My name is Kamaka Brown, and um, right alongside me is uh, none other than from Covina, California, by way of Wailuku, Maui. Stanley Gomes Jr. What's up, brother? How's it? How's it? How's it? How's everything? Okay. You know, uh, we got, you, you got to explain this now. You know, we got a new graphic over here, brother. Uh, and uh, maybe you can tell us the history behind um, behind this. Because this is a plastic stuff for one right now. Uh, that is classic, actually. <laughs> um, you know, that uh, we were trying to climb the mountain. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that was my first time, and uh, probably a lot of these guys, too. Uh, on the stage from Alonja Park, Hotlalea. Oh, um, we okay. were we were doing a dance called Tebe Tebe. Yeah, and one of the one of the verses is uh, uh, um, do the robot. Um, I don't know is... if you can see the robot and that, but I know we took our meds that day. But uh, <laughs> we went we went do the robot, and I don't know what happened. And somebody took a picture. I don't know who it was. Probably Bobby, <laughs> <clears throat> and caught us doing that. And I, I guess we're okay, but I don't know. Looking at that, going, what were we doing? I it was got, fun. Let me tell you. I gotta tell you, man. Three of my most favorite brothers over there, <laughs> brother Stanley Gomes, uh, Bubba over there, and brother Russell Price, man. So sweet, so sweet. In fact, um, uh, Tiana is saying Russell Price. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a crack up. I tell you. Ooh, aloha, Tiana and Russell. Welcome to. The Baboos Crew. Uh, how's it? How's it? <laughs> and on the Baboos Crew program, we attempt to explain the unexplainable. unexplainable. <laughs> and so I think that photograph uh, epitomizes exactly what we do. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It was fun. I got to tell you, it was fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brother Marty Burns is jumping in. Brother Marty. Brother Marty. Brother Marty Burns is another one of my favorite deal. brothers over there. Hey, we should we should get um we should have got um brother Marty up there with you guys. That would have been perfect, man. Uh, I would have been crying already, laughing. That, that would have been, been a that would been a quartet of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we actually had one more little one with us on the side. Oh, is that right? Um, we had a little one. Yeah, he was doing better than all of us. So I'm like, okay, great. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that was good. The Baboos Crew comes to you pretty much uh, every Wednesday yep. uh, about one o'clock, uh, give or take. The many hoonies are always in control, <laughs> and uh, as long as Russell Price doesn't uh, send those many hoonie squirrels um, to mess I'm with us, I'm going to be okay. Uh, the show is uh, sponsored by, presented by the Sandwich Island Social Network, serving Hawaiians and Hawaiians at heart. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and if you would like to be part of our uh, ohana, right down below, um, you can find out how you can become a sustaining member of our ohana by uh, joining our Patreon program. So uh, if you make a notation right over there, very easy, it is www.patreon.com forward slash sandwich Islands 808. It'll give you all of the uh, information there. And for those of our Ohana that are uh, sustaining members, mahalo for making all of this possible because without you, mahalo. we could not do what we do here in the community. And it's helped us sustain ourselves, pay for our expenses, pay for the platform that we broadcast on all through the pandemic because of our uh, support of Ohana that have made it all happen here. And we do three programs a week, every Monday night at eight o'clock. We have On the Porch, which is a gathering mm. of, oh man, sweet, sweet, beautiful fun. people. Oh, Stan. Fun, 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 fun. Fun crew. That's, that's fun, yep. yep, and good people. We, you and I were just talking about those, some of those folks that come on uh, the uh, on the porch on Monday nights at eight o'clock Pacific time, 
Uh, mm-hmm. some of, we haven't even met them face to face. We've nope. only known them. Right? Yep. Just been on Zoom and our, yeah, Zoom and thing. And we got to know them really well on that platform, but never shook a hand, say hello or whatever. So I'm like, wow, okay. That's so we've been, to me. we've been going on for over a year on the porch. Yep. And then yep. uh, on Wednesdays, we have the Baboo's crew in which we come and we just play around and get silly. And then yep. every Friday, we have something called um, uh, Aloha Friday with. And this coming Friday, we do want to share with you that uh, uh, a good friend of ours, who's also has been so wonderful, is Catherine Bachnight. She is a messenger of cultural voices, a filmmaker, photojournalist. She has a documentary called Hawaii, A Voice for Sovereignty. Real interesting, interesting lady, interesting gal. And uh, she has uh, accepted our invitation to join us on Friday. And uh, we're going to see some of the pictures that she's taken. She has visited five continents um, with her camera and has, um, you know, uh, recorded and has um, photographic um, uh, documentation of many, many things that you've seen in the newspaper, things that uh, you've heard about, and she was there. And we're going to talk about that. It's really amazing. Cool. Really amazing. Very cool. Very also, cool. also, we want to thank uh, ReasonScenco.com. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. They, yes. Brother Adan Kaokai yes. is um, Kaokai. managing yes. partner of um, uh, Reason Sinco. Uh, ReasonScenco.com, it's a company uh, that's locally owned. They have uh, affiliates in Florida, back home in Hawaii, and right here in Southern California. They uh, do hats. Uh, they have headgear. I am wearing Raja. That's their latest one. We Raja. Got Raja. On. That's cool, bro. Raja. They've got T-shirts. I'm wearing one of their T-shirts with the uh, the Reason logo on it. Um, I want to spill my drink. Sorry. I got one on too, but I want to spill my drink. So, you know. <laughs> so uh, And they've got very, very, very cool eyewear as well. Eyewear. And um, this yes. one is really cool. This is kind of a bronze. Uh, really, really that's nice. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's they have cool. headgear, cool. they have um, eyewear, they have sports apparel, and um, lots of really, really cool things. Please go to their website, reasons. And you know, dot com. They, they actually have sizes for the the larger uh, head size. You know, ah. they they can fit over your glass like that. You know, like that, and you know. So, brother Marty, go go get them. You know. So if you're if you have a extra large head, <clears throat> you know you can go get that. So that'd be cool. So for the big for, brothers, for the bigger have, brothers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so for the big brothers that may have difficulty finding sunglasses, I've talked to some. They go, "Oh man, in the kind of sunglasses I buy, about to dig right into the side of my, yeah, yeah. you know, the side of my uh, my head over here. Very uncomfortable." But yeah. um, Reason Cinco has developed sunglasses for the big boys, so they can be comfortable. Yep. So go check it out. Uh, yep. ReasonSinko.com. Mahalo Dan Kaokai for um, Mahalo, uh, the wonderful apparel and for being one of our yes. supporting uh, sponsors of uh, the yes. Summer Islands Social Network Baboo's crew. Really, really cool. Oh, Mahalo, hey, you, just got, you just got you it on birthday there, my brother. Oh. oh, my goodness. Yes, I did. Yeah. The lights, uh, you know, this is for us price. You know, the lights are going down, bro. The lithium crystals are all dead now. They're okay, bro. That's He's, for us, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. He, uh-huh. he likes to call me on, on that day and do the Star Trek thing. So, you know, I have to intern <laughs> call him. So, you know, that's, that's okay. So, yeah. <sighs> so, yes, I did have it yesterday. Yes. Um, we don't we don't want to say what number because we all know. Right. Uh, you know, but I, I put the flaps down, you know, had the speed break out, you know, 40 degree flaps. I might tear the wings up. But that's Okay. I would pull the parachute, nothing, but I keep going that way. So can I ask okay. a per- I gotta ask a personal question because it's just us. <laughs> it's just us, bro. Okay, it's yeah, just yeah, us. Yeah. Did yeah. you take the training wheels off? No, not yet, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Those will always stay on. Sorry, bro. I cannot. I cannot. Marty Burns says they got sa- sunglasses for the big headed people, but I need the flex fit <laughs> hat for the big heads. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my yes, yes, yes. And, yep. and, okay, we got to behave because Thyra Abraham is in the house. Hi, Thyra. Oh, Good Tyra. to see 
You baboozes again. It's been a while since I went spuck your handsome faces. Aw, that's so <laughs> sweet. So sweet. Got a chance to hang out with Pyra's um, son and daughter this past Thursday night at the Henry Capono concert in cool. San Juan Capistrano. Uh, Darshel and Frank, uh, just beautiful people. Cool. And um, we, uh, we miss Thyra, uh, but she was with us in spirit um, there in uh, San Juan Capistrano. Um, that was a coach house, yeah? That was at the coach house. It was so coach good. House, yeah. It was so nice, good. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. So cool. um, during the time that uh, between our last bub live Baboo's crew, you know, there have been a couple things that have that have come up, and I th I thought I thought that you know we would we would talk about just a little bit here, Stanley. Okay, um, fair. And um, first of all, <sighs> back home in Hawaii, with the pandemic, I don't know. You know, it, it kind of went down. They reduced the restrictions, and now we into yeah, a whole yeah. different variation, variants, or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. at the time, like within the last month or so. Believe it or not, 30,000 visitors a day Wow, going to Hawaii. Yeah? Wow. And that was on the low end. Wow. Um, and many of these tourists, and, and not all of them, and I, and I don't want to broad stroke because there are a lot of tourists that came uh, that went to our home, our island home, and were very respectful of, sure. you know, uh, of the Aina making sure they showed respect for our culture and uh, respect for our traditions. But there were a few that um, took some liberties that uh, did not um, bode well with locals. And one of them was actually breaking, I believe, as a federal law is, oh, we do have honu, our turtles. Yes. The Hawaiian yes. monk seal that are protected. Mm -hmm. And yep. they're not to be approached. They're not to be touched. Yep. Yep. Uh, we natives from Hawaii and Hawaiians and Hawaiians at heart who are aware of this, uh, stay yeah. away from the Hawaiian monk seals. You can take pictures, you know, no problem. Yeah. But yeah. a couple of tourists took pictures of, um, you know, got real close, started to pet the seals. They took pictures, posted it on social media, like on Instagram, on Twitter. And boy, the, the yeah. response was immediate from, from yeah. the locals over here. Yeah. So I saw this. I wanted to share and this is what is called a satirical proposal, touch a tourist instead of seal. <laughs> so this was in the Honolulu newspaper. It said, regarding the article on the latest tourist compulsion to interfere with a resting monk seal. See, there was an article in the Star Advertiser on July 15th. It says, I offer the following um, modest proposal introducing a new attraction called touch a tourist in which a $15 fee entitles you to approach any resting tourist on the beach and pat him or her on the head for as long as it takes until the tourist snaps at you or gets up and walks away. I think <laughs> I go get my wallet right now. No problem. I got a couple. No worries. Wow. I, I didn't read the, I think one was right. Trying to ride the, uh, the uh, Honu when he was coming out of the water because he was going to lay eggs, right? Oh. And his, his knucklehead was on the back writing it on. I'm like, dude, are you serious? Come yeah. on now. That's just like, come on. So If you I'm would like, go oh. to Facebook and, and put in hashtag Pono Pledge. Hashtag yeah. Pono Pledge. There's some very, 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 very good information and we're encouraging everyone to take the Pono Pledge, which basically runs down to say, show respect for the Aina, show respect yep. for the culture, enjoy when you're visiting the islands, enjoy whether you be people like ourselves that now live here on continental U.S. When we go back, we always show respect and malama the Aina and all of the creatures and all of the sacred sites. Yep. And this applies to folks that come from mainland America or anywhere and you know, Stan, it's the same thing of when we travel too, right? We go to certain places where indigenous yeah. people, whether they be Native yeah. Americans, whether we go to the Aboriginal in Australia, yeah. we go uh -huh. up to the Inuit Indians up north in Alaska. Uh -huh. 
there yeah. are things that we need to show respect for absolutely and not trample on it and sometimes folks forget that when they come to hawaii yeah. so i think um you know when you're native hawaiian i think you have a, a more of a reason uh, more knowledge than than the regular person going to hawaii you know what i mean oh let's, let's go to hawaii for vacation we don't go home for vacation we go home to almost stay or visit family that's not really a vacation you know what i mean yeah and and i don't think they understand that i really don't and it's sad because they gotta, they gotta, you know. Oh, let's go ride a seal, or let's go pat the head. And why are you gonna do that? We don't do that in your country. Why are you gonna right. do that? You Very know, it's, it's sad. It really is. See Honda, yeah. what's up? Welcome, welcome, Babu's crew. Um, See Honda is one of um, the uh, Hamajang gang, Andy Bumatai's hang Hamajang gang. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, C, for for jumping in and saying how's it. And um, the Daily Pigeon Live with Andy Bumatai rolls up uh, every morning. I believe he is at 6 a.m. Honolulu time. It's 9 o'clock Pacific time. He is on Twitch. Um, and uh, a lot of the Hamajang gang hang out with Andy. He has done over 400 shows back to back nonstop. So hats off to Andy Bumatai wow. and Daily Pigeon Live. And wow. the Hammer Jang Gang, indeed, wow. indeed. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nice. Here are some interesting things. That I, I, <laughs> um, I go to places, and there's always <laughs> there's always something there that that you can sanitize your hand. I saw this, and I wanted to share with you, Stanley. Um, I what? I didn't feel safe using it because I didn't quite know what it was. Were they? Were they trying to say that this is a a senator? Um, uh, There's a lot of senators in, involved here, but <laughs> I'm not sure if I know that senator right there. What the heck is that? Did they try? To, you know, you can't even guess at this kind of stuff because if, if you guess wrong, then but but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, wow! I, uh, wow! Can you buy a consonant? Wow. Can I buy a Z, please? <laughs> Wow. Just wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Just wow, huh? Just wow. Crazy. You sit nice back to and see you, go, you folks. C says, oh, glad I caught you, Andy, at 6 a.m. Thanksgiving. Thank goodness it's here at 9 a.m. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, and Andy does it every morning from his home in Mililani. And um, like I said, uh, kudos to uh, Brother Andy for... Uh, uh, doing a great, great show every morning from Hawaii on Twitch. Uh, so Thyra says here that um, I missed out on a party soup party. We <laughs> had so much fun. Manny Lagarde, Eric Yamaguchi, Arlene Laimana, and my Ohana. Yeah, I missed out on that party bean soup. Um, legend has it that Thyra... Got the recipe for Portuguese bean soup from the many hoonies many years ago. Oh. She will not share the recipe. There's a magic oh. ingredient that the many hoonies entrusted her with. Oh. And every she now got the inside scoop. She's got the say. inside scoop. Every now and then, oh. she will hold a Portuguese bean soup party. And oh. her friends, and I missed out on it. So, Oh, man. I know. I know. Well, you yeah. know. It's, that's hard to take, you know. I know. I, I know. I, I really, I don't know. Kamaka, I just you don't know. Really, Sorry. right? <laughs> you know, I get all misty sometimes like that, so I don't know. <laughs> you know, I was like, wow. Okay. Got the inside scoop. Inside <laughs> scoop over here. And talking about, wow. you know, that, that misspelling of sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Here's a here's an article from a local newspaper. <laughs> um, um, no, nah, it's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, um, oh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to Mippy Peepy. I'm not <laughs> sure. I, I'm really not sure I've ever been there. Wow, Missy Peepy wow. sounds sounds like I've never. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to that place before. Wow. Uh, Missy Pee Pee wow. sounds like a verb, right? Uh, what is she doing? Uh, Missy Pee -Pee. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't even say it. I don't know. <laughs> wow. 
there, wow. there there's definitely a, a room for improvement i say um as well. yeah i think so yeah, yeah. Wow. wow yeah and they um, work for the newspaper wow they work for the newspaper now i'm wow. trying to make sense of this here that i saw <laughs> <laughs> oh man now first of all take a close look do you see any mangoes at all <laughs> Well, yeah, no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe they stayed out of sight. I don't know. I don't see them. Uh, oh, that's funny. And by the way, how do you spell mangoes? Is that is that? The well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! There's definitely oh, some goodness. issues here, um, folks, and I'm I'm I have a hard time putting a finger on it. Um, I see avocados. I see oranges. Looks like apples in the background, but I don't see yeah, any. Yeah. Man goes. Uh, wow. I wonder where the man goes go. I'm not. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know where they go. Uh, it's I, just I, gone. So if you go up to the counter and say, hey, where the man goes go? And right. they're going to go, what? They, they're going to look at you like, what? Right. You know, wow. Uh, did you take your man's today? Nope. I didn't take nothing. Where, where the man goes go? Wow. Wow. I hope this is not a major league chain because this is embarrassing. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. And wow. The, the fact that it passes management. I mean, I'm sure there's a produce yeah. there that goes through the signs. Oh, uh, my maybe, gosh. Maybe the manager made the sign. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe he missed a PPP. I don't know. Could it, <laughs> could it be the Miss PPP? Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wow. We got C. Honda with us, um, joining us, and... Um, here is a Honda wannabe. <laughs> this, this, this Honda wannabe and Acura. Um, oh my God! No, no. What? What's the purpose here? I don't understand. I think. Oh my goodness! I think if they're going down the road and it says Acura, you would say, "Oh, look at that Acura! Wow, that's a nice car." <laughs> <laughs> Stop asking me what kind of car it is. It's an Acura. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, hello. Oh, my. And you put a personal plate for that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, um, wow. Amazing wow. stuff you see on the road these days. Wow. wow. Holy wow. mackerel. Holy wow. mackerel. Maybe you could fit Mr. PPP in there. I'm not <laughs> sure. Maybe that would have fit. I'm not sure. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> she wow. says the mangoes are all sold this out because they they got. <laughs> but where they go? Where they go? Oh, I want to no. know where they go. <laughs> the mangoes go where they go. Oh man! Oh, oh man! Um, oh my goodness! Maybe it's on purpose. The first line cannot fit. Yeah. On <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if but, you're a manager, like you said, you go through that, right? I would okay, think folks, so. Let's look at the signs, and we we not open. I should have said open. <laughs> O P I N. What yeah. are you talking about? Come on! Oh my goodness! Marty wow. says that that's a Honda that self-identifies as an Acura. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Wow! Wow! So, wait, now. So that's a trans. That's a trans <laughs> Honda. Don't say Trans Am, okay? Good no, people. that's a that's a trans <laughs> Honda because that's a Honda that identifies as an Acura. Very right, that made good. no sense at all, so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know. <laughs> that made no sense at all to me, but hey, maybe somebody did. I don't know. I, I, I'm one of the ones that go, what? I'm only oh. here going, what? Oh, wow. goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Um, well, we're my still goodness. talking about, we still got, I want to go back to some food over here. And, and Stanley, I would like to have your reaction to oh, this. Oh, here it comes. This is important. This is important I better to me. Get my, here it comes. All right, take a take take a look at this, guys. Um, <laughs> I can't say it. We're on. We're on. You know, I can't say it. I want okay. to be on the, on the air next time, so I can't say it. Oh, okay. that's funny. Okay, so. Oh my God. Here's a taco tita, <laughs> and you can take her out 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Their limitations. Or Saturday and Sunday, 11 to 3. That's funny. So wow. I can just drive up and um, wow. Taco Tita will roll out with me as long as I'm within those hours. 
What's uh, the sign in the back say? It says Punalu'u. Oh, well, that explains it then. It's <laughs> <laughs> now, if anybody's from there, I apologize, but it was so quick to say it, I had to say it. So there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Come on now, folks. <laughs> wow. Wow. Iris <laughs> says my stomach and face hurt from laughing. What? <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> wow. Be careful now. Talk, you know, um, yeah. Wow. wow. Steve is saying where it is. This is Punalu. Yeah. This is Big Island. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, Taco Tera. Uh, wow. Anybody on Big Island? If you've had, a, if you've experienced Taco Tita, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> and let me know how much you had to pay. That's all we want to know. <laughs> I, wow! Wow! I, I uh, oh boy! Uh, sometimes I'm, wow. I just get, I just get really, really curious on on some of this stuff that I see, guys. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. Like, what is that? Oh, Tyra oh, says, boy. I wonder if she is like the Hawaiian titter <laughs> that gives you a swollen <laughs> lip and black eye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Ooh. Taco wow, titter wow, wow. and a Hawaiian titter in the house, man. You got to. Wow. Oh, man. I tell you. My goodness. I wow. tell you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. So then I saw this. Um. <laughs> Bugs that are flying around with wings. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, oh man, come on, folks. Well, oh boy. Now, don't be too quick to judge because you know I'm sure, I'm sure there's a scientific. You know, these guys that that do study insects and stuff. Uh, the question was, I've got these bugs that look like ants with flying, with wings flying around my house. What are they and how do I get rid of them? Uh, they're bugs with wings and so they're flying bugs. Um, <laughs> and Very good. Yeah. Very good. It took you three seconds to know that, right? Uh, Thank you. It, it, it Thank took you. me a while. It took, <laughs> it took, it took you three while. seconds to figure that one out. We all know that <laughs> and we saw the same thing you did. Three seconds. <laughs> no, this reporter had to write it down for the paper. I'm like, ah, that's, that's not right. news. That's right. Jeez. That's oh, right. man, that's funny. That's it's, hilarious. Again. It's the age-old question, um, what do you call a fly without wings? <laughs> not a fly, but go ahead. What? <laughs> what? A walk. <laughs> ah! Okay. Ooh. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound well. effects, sound effects, sound effects again, right? Oh, shoots, man. <laughs> shoots. Oh, man. Ah, funny. Um, here's yeah. another one. Here's an army vehicle disappears. This is in Australia. An Australian <laughs> army vehicle worth $74,000 has gone missing <laughs> after being painted with camouflage. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Oh goodness, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. So the police are seeking public help to find this four-wheel drive vehicle. <laughs> that's worth 74k. They can't find it after oh, they paint before they had before they painted it. They they knew exactly where it was. Once they painted it with camouflage. Oh, that's funny. It went missing here, folks. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, oh that's a good one. Yeah. I do like that one. What, that's funny. What, what wow. a strange world we live in, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, see, should somebody get the name of the painter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Goodness. Uh, My goodness. See, Honda is still identifying as an Acura as, 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 as long as I can tell here. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love it. Good fun, man. Good fun. Uh, and you know, you you can't make this stuff up. This stuff is this stuff is right there, man. This stuff is cut, right there. Cut from the headlines. Right cut from the headline. Right. My goodness. Yeah. Wow. Um, talk about wow. identifying, and you know, people who you know self-identify um, as as well. Here's some. Um, here's a. Uh, article in a Honolulu police uh, <laughs> blotter. 
Honolulu police arrest a naked man, 33, with gun near Punchbowl area. The Honolulu police arrested a naked man who was carrying a gun on Monday evening in the Punchbowl area. Police said the 33-year-old man was taken into custody for open lewdness, which is a petty misdemeanor, and a felon in possession of a firearm and am ammunition. The, the man was still in custody Wednesday morning. An investigation is ongoing, police said. Um, a follow-up on this article is that they let him go because um, it was a... Um, uh, none, of the evidence, <laughs> none of the evidence would stand up in court. It was cold. <laughs> And um, it was a um, oh goodness! It was a small oh, caliber. Goodness. It was a small yeah. caliber weapon. It was a BB gun. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my goodness! Poor guy! Poor guy! Oh, that's funny. You know you. Oh, that's funny. Oh. that's uh, hilarious. Yeah, you, that's you have, hilarious. There are there are certain things that that make you go hmm. Mm, <laughs> of course, that's punch, of course that's punch ball area. So you know they got a lot of knuckleheads running around over there. That's funny. That's funny. What you wow. most scared of the gun or that he's naked? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, yes. They go hand in hand. I'm not, I'm not taking that gun out of his hands. No, 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 no. no. <sighs> now Marty oh, says in Honolulu, there's a guy that stole a fire truck while they were out on a fire. And they later found it in a 7-Eleven parking lot. Now, <laughs> he got thirsty. He had to go. Come on. That's easy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh goodness. Man. You know, we had the same thing over here in California. Yeah. The guy stole a battalion chief wagon. Uh -huh. now, you know what? A, it's a, like an SUV painted yeah. bright red with big-ass numbers on the top of the, of the car, right? Right. You can't get away from this. They've got GPS with a satellite with those guys. They got everything in that van worth millions of dollars. And he's just traveling down the road with his hand out the window, kind of taking a ride. I'm like, where are you going to go? You got a bright red truck, number one. Number two, <laughs> it says LA County Fire Department Battalion Chief on the side. Okay, that's number two. Man, you're not going nowhere. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Oh, I was like, oh, my goodness. They, they've stolen ambulances with the guy in the back right. ready to go to hospital. They take it off with them. Like, where are you going? Oh, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. My goodness. Here's a guy that may have been in the ambulance at the time. <laughs> oh. His article, it says, a worker suffers leg pain after Crane drops 800-pound ball <laughs> on his head. <laughs> he bought a key, that's why. <laughs> oh, goodness. No. Oh my gosh! I, 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 okay, maybe it's just me, Stanley. Oh, but if boy. somebody dropped an eight hundred pound ball on my head, I think I would have more than leg pain. Um, I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I I'm surprised he's still alive to say that. Our <laughs> eight hundred pounds on your freaking head. You know, you gonna crush your whole body with that thing. Now, oh, and they're gonna say, oh, she's gonna say, oh, he had his hard hat on. That's okay. not gonna help, bro. That's not gonna help. I was wow. just, I was just gonna say, that's a testimony for a hard hat, man. I want to yeah, know what still. hard hat brother was wearing, man. That's uh, crazy, right? Crazy, right? Wow, Amazing. that's crazy. Amazing, crazy uh, new stuff. Just I love it. it. Just love it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Stanley. Wow. You, you have a hobby of building airplanes aircraft i mean that, that's you, i do you've made it and you're very very good at it uh um, well, thank I, you I've, I've seen your I, handiwork <laughs> i thought of you when i saw this um planes forced to land <laughs> at airports uh, and it's el Monte too it's like not far from me <laughs> oh my god Oh boy! So, oh boy! As one that is 
fairly aware of where, uh, Stanley, where else would an airplane land? Well, uh, you know, sometimes they land in the field when they're on fire, you know, or, uh -huh. or they actually seen one land on the freeway, actually. Uh -huh. I've actually seen that. Um, but, you know, I think what it should have said was plane, P-L-A-N-E, not S, because obviously uh -huh. all the planes go land at that freeway, I mean, on the at the airport. I uh -huh. think I saw that in the news a while ago, uh -huh. and apparently the, the uh, Air Force was chasing this guy. For he was in restricted airspace. Okay. And uh, the guy decided, because he was right around here, decided to turn around and go to El Monte when Bracken is right over the hill from us. But he wanted to go take a ride over there, landed, obviously got arrested because that's federal airspace that he went sure. to. But it's like, what are you thinking? <laughs> Why were you thinking that? It's like, come on. It's like, come on. <laughs> oh, weird, weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. Now, C. Honda Where's says, that? I'm close to El Monte also. Well, be yeah, aware that's because they're forcing airplanes to land at the airport these days. So That's I'm just, crazy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know, they haven't landed in Covina yet, so that's a good thing. You know, so <laughs> When they start landing in Covina, I'm out of here, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Wow. <sighs> wow. That's crazy. So I went crazy. grocery shopping. I love bagels. Right. Uh, I like to have bagels for my breakfast. And um, I saw this in the bake shop. What? <laughs> now, now, I guess only local people would appreciate that. Um, I, in my younger days, I did go on a Pulani oh, patrol. Um, <laughs> hey, don't ask Mr. Price. He going to give me the whole story. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. But these are very special punanis. These are punanis that are garlic punanis here. Just, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I just... I just want to. I just want to share. I'm, I'm in a sharing flavor. mood here. Um, yeah, yeah. A little flavor right there. Okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I, I, I'm not sure what they were trying to uh, sell. Uh, was it? Um, <laughs> man. Wow. Yeah. And, and and once again, it slipped right past yep. management. And there you go. <laughs> go Nobody saw that go out. Oopsie. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Man. Um, we all love our poke bowls, and yep. poke bowl places have sprung up all over the place. Oh yeah! And I'm a real traditionalist. I like poke old-fashioned way. I oh. like just a little inamona inside, some kukui nut. Oh. Okay. Uh, little bit, little bit sesame oil. <coughs> sure, just sure. a little bit. Yeah, I like I like my little bit of ogo inside there, a little bit of seaweed in there, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Small kind chili pepper flakes inside, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes if I'm chili, chili pepper water on that top of that, yeah, yeah. What's that? With little <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> little chili pepper water on top of that, and all that. Small kind stuff, chili yeah. pepper water, chili yeah. pepper flakes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I put just a little drop of oyster sauce in it just to give it a nice little uh, twang to it, and that—that's okay. it. That's kind of you know to me. That's 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 it. That, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, here's a poke bowl place, um, and apparently their poke bowl you can get salmon or chicken breast. Okay. Um. Um. In, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> You know, as soon as it turns to chicken, it's not a poke bowl, but uh, or salmon. Oh, wait a minute. Now, um, they might be confused. Maybe it's either or. I don't know. What is the H over there for? The extra H on, above poke. But if you look carefully, they've also misspelled healthy. Oh, you got to be kidding me! Is that what the H is for? <laughs> so, oh my gosh! You know, so so oh it's healthy. It, it's healthy, bro. Healthy poke no, bowl. No, that's healthy. You know, that's part of your hey, bro. That's healthy. Don't worry. Wow. Uh, I no. saw the age. I'm like, where did age come from? <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, wow. I will go with you for some raw salmon. Okay. <laughs> but, wow. 
A chicken breast? That's not, yeah, they get the wrong bowl. I wow. I don't think so. I think that's a place where the name of the of the place is called Poke Bowl, right? I'm I'm not sure. I, believe, I think that's in uh, uh, California, though, or yeah, I think uh, that's in California. Yeah. Hey, wow. Tim Tim Lopes, what's up, brother Tim? All the way hey, from Tim. Texas. Aloha, brother. Thanks for joining wow. us. Oh, um, wow. C says it's so unappetizing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, they got some definite issues over here that's happening with their wow. poke bowl. Hopefully they work it out without too many. <laughs> you know, um, the manager there, uh, this guy, Sal, Sal Monella. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. I was just thinking about that too. Oh, fun it. Uh, now with some raw chicken breast in my poke yeah, bowl. Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't that's happening, great. bro. Mm -mm. That nope. is not happening. That's funny. You know, our friend Nancy oh. is not on today. I'd hoped that she was on because I, I found this especially for her. And, you know, <laughs> there's some, some days in which are better than others. And okay. some, days, some days is just, you know, you, you wish you didn't get out of bed, man. <laughs> um, and I've had a few of those days. Maybe you have too, Stanley. Yes, sir. Um, here's a what the heck. Here's a cat that was messing around with some hoes, and he's not really having a very good day. Um, you can yeah. see that face is like, hurry up and untie me! <laughs> wow, uh, bite your leg or something. What is he doing? Just playing around with hoes. I think he started rolling around and the hose got tangled up. I think so. That's hilarious. Right? I, I can't say anything bad about the cat because I'll get yelled at. So right. I'm sorry for the poor kitty cat, but the Lolo wouldn't wrap himself in the hose. Yeah. And then it gives that face like, hurry up. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> get me loose. That's funny. Wow. Uh, you know. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, wow, man. Those you know, cats. I get, I get the... Um, Shopper image catalog. Oh, you know, I used yeah, to yeah. I used to be a, a shopper image theme, and back home in Hawaii, when yeah. shopper image opened up in Honolulu at Alamoana Center, mm -hmm. man, man, yeah, yeah, I spent a lot yeah, of yeah. money on stuff I really <laughs> didn't need because it just was so cool, right? Yep, yep. a lot of a stuff, techie crap, techie stuff, yep, techie stuff, yep. so. Yeah, although many of those shops have closed down, I don't think there are very many shopper image retail places. But I'm still yeah. on their catalog list. So I just, I just got, I just got the catalog, and um, I wanted to, I wanted to share with you uh, one thing that's on this. What the heck are you doing to that poor turkey? Yeah, I want you to take a look now. This is, this is something that is, is that? available through the. Oh, it's a chainsaw for the... That's stupid. I'm sorry. That's well... Stupid. I was wondering well, what the thing was. I'm like, what is that going to touch the turkey or... Okay, it's like a carving knife, right? So here's a description. This is a carving knife. It's powerful electric slicer that gives you the feel and precision of a chainsaw. <laughs> you can't... I you have can. a question. <laughs> You're going to add some excitement to the table. You are. <laughs> as you pull the trigger to slice the holiday turkey, a roasted chicken, steak, pineapple, watermelon, or bread. It features oh, stainless on. steel blades, ergonomic, ergonomic handle, <laughs> and movable plastic chainsaw safety guard. Wow. You know, okay, I, you, I, you know, I can't even say it, but go ahead. No, I,
invented a, invented a long time ago. It's called a knife. Doesn't it do the same thing? And you, you got a knife in your hand. You know, I'm gonna stab the chicken. It doesn't make sense. It's like, wow. You know, I mean, that, how much is that, by the way? It's like a hundred bucks. Oh my gosh, dude. So wow. can you imagine me wow. walking up to the Thanksgiving table with that thing wow. going? Ying, 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 ying. <laughs> People bailing out like let the right John <laughs> get out of the way. Saw so right through the that, middle of the table. <laughs> right? That, thank you, Bugs Bunny. That's what I was thinking, you know? <laughs> I was thinking that when it comes down to slice, right? <laughs> all this all this turkey's gonna go flying all over the place, right? Right. And nobody wants to eat it. But right. it cuts it like a knife, so use a knife, people. Oh, that's funny. You that's know, hilarious. This is wow. This is wow. All right, so so look at this. Here's a review wow. from somebody in Grass Valley, California. <laughs> Grass Valley. This I actually bought five of these and gave them to the men in my family for Christmas. Wow. They range, they range in age from 27 to 55, and they were all over the moon with how it looks like a chainsaw. Oh One set gosh. his up and carved the ham and tri-tip. I was serving for dinner. He loved it. They all loved it. They were all part of the original cast of the Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes you got nothing to do in Grass Valley but cut the turkey like that. I don't know. <laughs> you know... <clears throat> Grass Valley is a beautiful place. Don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. Been there twice. Landed, took off. Uh -huh. But it's a gorgeous place. But yep. but they got nothing for do over there. Nothing. <laughs> they got nothing to do. It's like, oh my gosh, you gotta have a chainsaw to cut your bread. Oh my goodness, the chainsaw for the macho man only. <laughs> wow, wow, well, all, all I gotta say is ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Somebody had the smart idea to Yo. patent that idea, right? Ooh. Oh, let's patent this thing because I don't want nobody taking my idea. Ooh. Come on, bro. Come bro. on. Oh, that's funny. That's that funny. is amazing, right? That is oh, amazing. Oh, my goodness. Well, while, wow. we're still, while we're still talking about the, um, <laughs> the Shopper Image catalog, I got to share one more. And this is, this is the epitome of laziness. Here is... A unit what the that heck? you can make your toast, fry your eggs, make your sausage, and brew your coffee all on the same oh unit here at the same time. God. Okay, now I, I, I gotta say it because yep. it's gonna it's gonna kill me if I don't. Yep. I would think, and this this me, if the person had a like an RV or um, a small one, obviously, or um, you're in a studio apartment, right. this would be great. Or you're you're in a dorm. Right? I think this would be great for you, right? Okay. But other applications, I really don't see this. I really don't. So but that's all I could think of. Let's look at this here. The all-in-one breakfast maker is a compact kitchen appliance that makes a complete and hearty breakfast. It'll oh, brew your coffee. Goodness. It'll make toast. It cooks eggs, breakfast meats. While well, saving space on your counter, there's your point. Ideal for dorms. There you go, Stanley. There you go. Okay. Offices and small apartments. It features That's a toaster okay. oven, a yeah. nonstick griddle, three-cup coffee maker. You can get it in two colors, aqua or red. Yeah. Um, and for $2.50 extra, there's a, there's a little extra <laughs> attachment that comes. It's actually a size 12 slipper in which you walk up between the people <laughs> and whack them in the head to wake up because they're so damn lazy. They don't want to crank them. <laughs> you go crank them. But yeah, I, I could see it in like a break room or something like that. But right. it's like, okay, honey, we're, we have this uh, 1,400 you know, square foot house and we're going to put that in there. No, we're not. Come on now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on, people. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Uh, Sharper image is stuff you don't want. I'm telling you. <laughs> High price stuff you really don't want, you don't need. There you go. And thank wow. you very much, Sharper Image. Um, oh, your catalog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we want to remind oh, our friends. Goodness. We want to remind our friends that this coming Friday on the Aloha Friday show, 
we have uh, a good friend of ours of the Sandwich Island Network. Her name is Catherine yes. Bachnight. Thyra, you know Catherine. Yes. Um, she is a photojournalist. She's a photographer. She also produced the documentary Hawaii, A Voice for Sovereignty. And featuring the voices of Willie Kay, um, uh, Cyril Pahinui, and uh, a number of other folks that contributed their music to this project and also their mana'o to it. We'll be talking about that. Catherine was also one of, uh, I think it was only two, we'll find out for sure, reporters that were hidden by students on Tiananmen Square before wow. that massacre that happened that hit all of wow. um, the world headlines. She was there. And she wow. has photographs, and she was able to get those photographs out of China for the world to see. And there's an amazing wow. story she's going to share with us. Wow. So please, That's cool. don't yeah. miss the Aloha yeah. Friday show with the Sandwich Island Social Network, our guest, Catherine Bachnight. That is 12 o'clock noon Pacific time. Uh, join us. It is interactive. Wow. You can ask questions. You can share information or information that you want to learn about Catherine and about the work that she does. Amazing. Amazing. Very cool. Amazing. Very cool. Yeah. Um, Very cool. That's Thyra says, yes, I do. And I will be watching. Thank you, yes. um, Thyra. Yeah. Um, and I had a little pre-interview last night on uh, this platform here with Catherine. And oh, my goodness. I said, save those stories. Save because they're so great. So great. So I'm really excited about having Catherine on board to share her mo'olelo, her stories cool. about, and also her adventure and her journey of creating the documentary Hawaii, A Voice for Sovereignty. Yeah. In her words, she goes, here's this blonde hair, howly chick yeah. that yeah. Is, goes to um, Maui, and I tell, mm -hmm. I tell them that I want to do this documentary, and it took a while for me to be accepted and once it happened, the whole world opened up to me an awareness about yeah. the Hawaiian culture. And so um, her story about that is amazing as well. So don't miss cool. it on Friday, cool. 12 noon Pacific time. And the beautiful thing about all of our, <coughs> excuse me, our presentations. With that guy over there. The Baboo's crew <laughs> is that we put our content on our YouTube channel, Samaja Island Social Network YouTube channel. So if you are not able to join us 12 o'clock on Friday, no worries. Normally by the beginning part of the following week, we do put it up on our YouTube channel. And so yeah. please like and subscribe our YouTube channel so that you can uh, get notice of all the different co new content that we add every single week as well. <clears throat> wow, man! It's a uh, our hour Whoa. has gone by. My goodness gracious! I tell you, uh, so much fun. C oh says it's your last catalog if you don't order now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to find I used to find so many cool things in the Shopper Image catalog, and now when I go through, I go, "Are you kidding me, man? I'm not gonna speed yep. up." Maybe just because I've gotten older and maybe more sophisticated. I don't know, but. Um, it's the prices that keep jumping up. You're like, well, I'm not paying for a, for a knife that can cut through a turkey like that. I'm, yeah, there's no way. Yeah, I got knives in the cupboard. You know, right. wow. But I like it's the idea of going of, of the pull string and I think. <laughs> 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 yes, see, um, you can definitely catch it on reruns if you're not able to join us on Friday. We will load it onto our YouTube channel. So that uh, you have an opportunity to to, to see it and um, share with your friends. And please, everyone, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sandwich Islands Social Network. And you know you're in the right place because you see our logo. You'll see the little bird of paradise. That that's um, our our logo on our YouTube channel right above. Yes. And uh, please subscribe and like our channel. Uh, we definitely want to build our viewership and our subscribers. So. Please pass it along to your friends and your ohana to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It doesn't cost anything at all um, yep. for you to do that. And it definitely helps us in terms of um, our building our uh, archive and our networking. 
with YouTube and with the Sandwich Island social network, Ohana, as well. Tell your family and friends, come on down. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Hey, this yep. was a fun outing over there. Let me see. That I was think. Fun. Let me see. Uh, yeah. I just, I just want to go back to this. Um, oh, no. <laughs> we, we, don't have, we don't have to if you don't want to. It's all right. We don't have to. Uh, we don't have to. Just for clarity, on the far right-hand side is none other than Stanley Gomes um, yeah. uh, Jr. And believe yes, it or not, sir. they're all dancing to the same song. Uh, yes. We, <laughs> yes, we are. You wouldn't know it, but we are. Thank These you very much. three are near and dear to my heart. Stanley, Russell, <laughs> Price in the middle, and uh, Brother Bubba uh, Endayan, who lives in Texas right now. Texas. Uh, but uh, those three, uh, you three brothers are close to my heart, man. Love you guys, man. Thank you, sir. So good. Thank you, sir. Ah, once again, mahalo to um, all of you for being part of our yes. Babu's crew. And also, we, uh, we want to be show our appreciation to Reason.com. Yes. They've got that great guy? headgear. Who, who, who that guy right there? Who that guy? Who that guy? That's a cool shirt. That you Ooh, can that get, guy. Yeah, that you can get <laughs> on ReasonScenco.com. And if uh, you do, uh, go to their website. Uh, if you do find them on Facebook, uh, please let them know that uh, you found out about Reason Cinco on the Baboo's Crew show with Kamaka Brown and Stanley Gomes as well. All right, so let me see. Uh, Stan, thanks so much, man, for being uh, just hey. uh, just good fun, man. And very uh, good fun, very good. Once again, we ask um, our friends to please consider become a sustaining part of our Ohana. There it is, Patreon.com forward slash Sandwich Islands eight oh eight. Please uh, uh, consider help us be uh, by being a sustaining member. And once again, mahalo to. Uh, Sceneco.com. Good folks. Yep. Well, Stan, boys, yep. you have an amazing rest of your day there, my brother. We'll talk to you mahalo, soon. Bro. And mahalo, it's, mahalo. It's, it's always fun, man. Always fun. Uh, we will see all of you uh, next week, Wednesday, when once again the Baboo's crew comes on board where we attempt to explain <laughs> <laughs> we attempt to explain the unexplainable, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Right, <laughs> right here. We're not always able to do it thoroughly, but we will. <laughs> we will give it. We will definitely give it our best shot. Give it our, be <laughs> our best. It. Our best shot. Mahalo, everybody. You have a great rest of your afternoon. We'll talk to you soon. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> The program you have just viewed has been rated Dakain by the Konawina Elementary PTA. In the future, please be careful what you watch because no can get the time back already. For those of you that stay hard head, see you next week on The Baboo's Crew!